All right, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to another tutorial. Um, today we're just going to be going over some different ways to monitor biodiversity and soil data in your pastures. Um, and I'm just going to go over a couple different options that you have for accounting for the types of forage that you have, um, how much forage is available in your pastures, um, as, well, as well as how you can go about uploading your own soil data. So first, I'm just going to show you how you can monitor biodiversity really easily using the Photos tool. Um, the Photos tool, I think, is a great way to document not only biodiversity in your pastures, but anything else that is going on as well. Um, so say you have a broken fence line somewhere and it needs to be fixed and you're out in the fields, you can easily take a photo of that in pasture map on the mobile version. Um, and then when you come home, that photo will be automatically synced to your account, all of your team members' accounts. You can add it as a to-do item for someone to get out there and fix, things like that. Um, but we also see photos being used a lot uh, to document what the vegetation looks like before and after herd moves. Uh, so they can be really helpful for that as well. Now, if you're looking to figure out how do you view these photos once you take them, um, on the web version, you're just going to go to the data layers tab and you'll just want to make sure that photos is selected as a data layer that is turned on and you'll see all of these camera icons right here. And you can go ahead and you can click on the camera icons to view the photo and it'll also give you information on when the photo was taken, what pasture it was taken in, things like that. Um, like I said, this doesn't just have to be for vegetation monitoring. So for example, this photo right here is a stream gauge that it, um, we had set out monitoring water levels. Um, you can also use your photos for monitoring what your forage looks like. Um, even keeping track of cow health, things like that. Um, another way to view your photos is going to be under the pastures tab and you can just select the pasture that you want to view photos for. Under the activity history, you can just go ahead and expand that. It'll come up as an inventoried item. Um, and you'll also be able to see any notes that you took along with the photo right here. Um, Great. So another way that you can kind of monitor what forage you have available is you can just go ahead and edit the grass types in each of your pastures. Um, that's also really easy to do. You just need to click on your pasture, select this kind of pencil icon to edit it, and you can go ahead and enter the grass type, the dominant grass species um, in each specific pasture. You'll also notice here that you can edit the percent of grazable acres. So say only 70% of your pasture is actually grazable. Uh, you can go ahead and put that in and it will automatically update with things like the forage forecast, as well as you'll see it when you export your grazing report at the end of the season. Um, so that's just another great way to kind of keep track of things. The last monitoring tool that I'm gonna show you in terms of biodiversity as well as just general pasture inventories um, is the pasture inventory tool. So from there, you're gonna to go to the pastures tab, select your pasture, select add an inventory, you can change the date. It'll ask for these um, available grazing days, available dry matter, or you can just put in any notes. So say you had a reseeding event on this date and you want to document that. Um, anything like that can kind of go right in here. Um, and that'll just be saved as an inventoried item. And then anytime you click it and expand it, you'll see your notes there. Now, I also want to show you really quickly how you can upload soil data to Pasture Map and what that kind of looks like. Um, so I already have some soil data uploaded into my account. Um, 
And to view soil data, you can just click on show monitoring soil points. And they look like these little shuffles here in your pastures. Um, when you click on them, you will get this kind of sidebar. Um, you can look at soil carbon, zero to 10 centimeters, or 10 to 40 centimeters, um, as well as bulk density. Uh, right here, these are all of your points in which pastures they're in. Um, you can view kind of how that changes. So from August to September, what that looks like for me, um, things like that. Now to go ahead and upload your own soil data, you can go to the add items to map right here in the web version, and you can select import soil data. It's going to ask you to download our template and add your records to it. So you can go ahead and select download. And I'm just going to open this up really quickly to walk you through what our template looks like. Great. So kind of auto populates with a couple of samples for you, but all you need to do is put in the date, a name for your point, the coordinates, the infiltration level, bulk density, and then it asks for carbon content 0 to 10 centimeters and 10 to 40 centimeters down. Once that is filled out correctly, you can just drop your CSV file in there, and then it will appear as these points on your map. Awesome. All right, well, I think that's a wrap for the monitoring video. I hope you found, found this helpful and that these are tools that you can see yourself integrating into your ranch planning and into your pasture map account. Um, thanks again. If you have any questions, my email will be listed below this video, so feel free to reach out anytime. All right, bye.